up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thanks for the continued support. Also, big shout out to my friends at LinkedIn. I got your uh, tracky jacket on right now, LinkedIn right there. And in this one, we're going to zoom in and we're going to focus on the key of C just because we're going to change keys. The little workout I gave you was on the key of A. We're going to do all those same devices in the key of C, but the main focus and concept of this video is knowing where your roots are, um, starting with those uh, extensions and positions, but knowing where your roots are is crucial. So first, we're going to start with the E root minor pentatonic. So a C note is right there on the eighth fret of the low E. So that's the eighth fret, right? So then we play the minor pentatonic scale. Eight, 11, eight, 10, eight, 10, eight, 10, eight, 11, eight, 11. And backwards. Right? Okay, so we got that. Then we are going to play the extension of that, which we've already learned. So look for the videos on that. And what you do is you still plug in the root, but now we also have the note below the root right here. And so now what we would have is the extension scale based off the E root, and that would be six, eight, six, eight, slide up to 10. And then you have eight, 10, 8, 10, slide that up a whole step to 12, and then index on the uh, B string on the 11th to the 13th, and then you have 11, 13 on the high E, and then you can slide or bend that up a whole step. Though we have a note below it, we like to end on the root just for practice sakes. It doesn't mean when you're soloing to always end your lick on the root, but for now we're using it more as associating the scale where the root is, okay? So once again, here it is, and you want to practice this a lot. Quick tip, I'm only using my index and ring finger for the whole thing. Okay, so now what's really important from there, and the, the, the point of this video, is to know where our roots are. Um, eventually, you're just gonna kinda have a feel for the whole scale, but kind of being able to visualize the roots helps you plug them in really fast, and it also helps you uh, by playing the same licks in the different spots uh, and associating those licks kind of around where the root is. So the roots in this position would be obviously the eighth fret of the E string. But then it repeats again, the octave right here on the 10th of the D string. If you stayed in the position, you would have the eighth on the high E too. Right? So uh, a real world application, uh, a very simple lick, if I played it right here, I, that's the root, then how could I play it where the root's right here? Well, it's going to look a little different. And then on the high E. Now, in the extension, there's no root below, but the root happens again up here on the 13th of the B. So then you could do the lick right here. And then another way to do that same lick, and this is what I mean by starting to associate a little spots, it'd be right here. From the extension part of it, it'd be that sixth fret of the A string.
See that? So whenever you learn a lick, it doesn't have to be based on the root, but it, this is a good starting point. Um, try and play it in another spot. So right now, a good, a good way to do that is by starting with the root. And I did another a little blues lick, uh, you know, right here, 10th fret ring finger, blues note hammered on pulled off. And I go, okay, I ended it on the root. How else could I do that? Well, that other root's right here. And it's also a great way to extend out a basic lick. Down the extension, then the lick again here. Down the extension. Got that? Okay. So what we did so far is we went over the E root minor pentatonic. Uh, then we did the extension. And then we just visualize and start, you know, every day a little bit, you'll start to memorize where the roots are in the position. Just like that. And then you can start visualizing and also basing roots around it and not be as lost. So now let's do the same scale, exact same scale, meaning the exact same notes. But when you play it in a different part of the neck, the shape looks different, but it's still that same penta. It's still that same five notes. So now let's play the C minor pentatonic scale with the root on the A string. So there's our root. And to play it here, it looks like this. Three, six. And you'll hear that that's the same as this. that so we really are playing the same thing just looks the shape looks different when you put it in a different spot of the neck so three six three five three five and then a weird finger change which is going to be four six on the b string and then three six on the high e and then backwards Now you do have the E string, it's just not the root. So we also have six, three, six, back to the root. And just for practice sake, just for the sake of practice, we like to end on the root. Feels like home base, all the other notes are, you know, harmonizing around that home base root note. So here it is. Now let's look at just that position and find where the roots are. There's only two of them. The three on the A string and the five on the G string. So same thing, you could do some licks. See how now it's just has a different look. But that's really good stuff to figure out on your own when you play a lick is put it into a different spot and knowing where the root is to kind of associate it is important. So we have the scale. So you could do the exact same thing, an octave up, because the key of C happens to lay out nicely to be able to play it up here. So we have a C root right here, and then it starts over again right here on the 15 of the A string. So everything I just did here can do the exact same thing right here. Everything's the same. No different fingering. It's just an octave up, exact same thing. 15, 18, 15, 17, 15, 17, 16, 18, 15, 18. 15, 16, 17, yeah, 15, 18. So then the roots are still on the A string right there, and then on the G string. So now let's go back to here and learn and go over the extension of it. We plug in the root, and then we know we have a whole step below and a string below. Roots right there. So then we would have one three on the E string, one three on the A string, and then with the A root, we also have one three on the D string. 
Then you'd slide that up. And then you'd do three, five on the G, because we're in the regular position again. Then we do index onto the four of the B, ring on the six of the B, and we slide that up a whole step. And then we do six of the high E, and then we finally end up on the eight of the high E, and we're on the E root now. So if I make a finger change to my index finger, I'm now in the first thing we went over. And check out how cool this is. When I do that whole step up, and I do the finger switch there, I'm in the A root again. So look at we're covering all the way from the first fret, all the way up now to almost the end of the guitar in one key of the blues scale. So now that we have all of that, let's just pick out the roots. But kind of knowing those scales a little bit better now, we're going to pick out the roots. So it'd be third fret on the A. That's a C note. We'd have a fifth fret on the G. Then we're right in our E position, eight, and then 10 on the D, eight on the high E, and then now we have 13 on the B, which from here we could still not forget that we already covered it, but we can see it from here. I like to be able to see where they are pretty much at all times. So 10 on the D, 13 on the B. And then we go up to this position and we would have 15 on the A, and then we would have um, 17 on the G, but as we learned with the extension of the A root, when we finally slide up that last note, we end up at the root again. So if I did it here, the same thing should work. So 16, 18, 20, 18, 20 and oops I dropped my pick to point <laughs> at the root again so that's our last and highest C note that we have on the guitar and there's one right here too from that C chord but so, uh, this isn't something that I suggest you do overnight, but th these are the, 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 the thought processes that should be going on for you to start to expand on, you know, get better on your own. Take information and use it to, you know, get better without um, just always doing what, you know, some, you know, something mechanical. Start to use your, your thinking process to start putting these little associations together. So that was the C minor pentatonic, and we pretty much covered the whole entire neck. So what I recommend is right at the end of this video, look for the link for the new jam track and practice away. Have fun, good luck. <laughs>